At Thomas Jefferson, we have a program uh, we refer to as Sir Sicer. And part of our intellectual curiosity and problem solving, we try to incorporate uh, various activities for students other than just the classroom activities to, so that they can become the whole person. Uh, they can problem solve, they can think critically, uh, can think outside the box, come up with their own ideas, read books that aren't necessarily assigned in the classroom. And in 2009-2010, we inaugurated a program called the One Question. And the students were given an opportunity to think of a question that would be related to the school that we could carry from the one question to the one book and then provide opportunities for them to expand and have the one question grant. And they were given stipends to pursue these activities. We all read one common book and develop one common theme to talk about for the rest of the school year that we tie into all of our classes. And it fo uh, focuses on four main features. Critical thinking and research, inquiry, problem solving, and social responsibility. And all of those factor into how we develop our projects and how we talk about things and discussions in school. I think the administration at TJ uh, really understands the values of the value of keeping TJ an ethical and um, you know open environment for uh, a, a higher sort of a thinking, not just necessarily technical studies. I actually answered the one question for three years in a row, and the project started during sophomore year. The question was, what are the social responsibilities of educated people? And I believe the social responsibilities of educated people is to help educate those less fortunate. So I came up with a project to help provide solar lamps to rural village schools in India and Africa and other third world countries to help students study effectively at night when they have no access to electricity. The realization that what you're doing is important every day and they can extend that and once they leave Thomas Jefferson it just gives them an extension in, in their pursuits of college or whatever endeavors they have to use that as just a stepping stone to even move further in helping others and that's the whole idea behind the projects to, to give and they receive here, they give to others, and it, it's a wonderful, a wonderful chance for the students to be a part of not just education in the classroom, but education beyond the classroom. I think it is important for us to make change, and it's teaching us to become leaders of the future. So it's teaching us a sense of community service, as well as using critical thinking skills and inquiry and problem solving to create unique projects that can help benefit the world somehow. My projects span globally, but other projects just help the benefit the school or the community or even nationally. So this is definitely something that's beneficial for everyone. We've got to have more schools like Thomas Jefferson. And it's got to start even before kindergarten and preschool. I didn't know I could make a difference at such a young age. I was only 15 when I started the project, and now it's become something really remarkable. I was, the president actually came to our school to sign the America Invents Act in September, and I was invited to stand up on stage with him, which was due to my one question project, which is something that's remarkable because I would have never had the experience to meet the president, shake his hand three times in my life. So that is something that I'll never forget.